All right, what's good everybody? I hope everybody's having a great start to their week. I wanted to come and do a reading surrounding Wendy Williams, all right? Um, I will link the, the videos that I watch. Um, you know, I just watch random videos, especially when this is my hyper ups, um, obsession. <laughs> I'm hyper obsessing about celebrity stuff in the past couple of weeks so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this but we're gonna look into Wendy Williams all right we're gonna look into her health we're gonna look into the people that surround that are surrounding her and you know could be a possible cause for some of the issues that she is dealing with right now we're gonna look into Lori, Lori Schiller we're gonna look into Bernie Young um, yeah, we're going to look into a couple of, huh. okay, well, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to see. All right. All right. I can already tell that I don't know if I'm going to release this video, but if I do, hey, what? we'll, yeah, whatever's. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you just came to hate, go ahead and do that because either way I'm going to do me and you obviously are going to continue to do you and there's nothing I can do about that. So yeah let's just get started all right guys oh my god all right we are looking into wendy williams all right wendy williams guys let's get a card for um, let's see i'm gonna use this card this deck let's get a card representing wendy williams wendy please one card for wendy we got the high priestess there's wendy all right, there you are, Wendy. That's going to be your deck. All right, let's get one for Lori Schiller. Lori Schiller, what can you tell us about Lori Schiller? Okay, put the judgment at the bottom. Let's see what fell out. The devil. Lori Schiller is the devil. Okay, what's at the bottom of... We got the world for Wendy Williams. <clears throat> we got judgment for Lori Schiller. Huh, let's see. Um... Bernie Young. Bernie Young. Let's see. Let's go with this deck. Let's get a card for Bernie Young. Let's get a card for Bernie Young. We got the lovers, okay? We got the chariot at the bottom. All right. I'm not really sure. Is there anyone else we need to look into? All right. So we got Wendy, Lori, and we have Bernie Young. All right. Let's start with Let's start with Wendy. All right, let's look into Wendy's, Wendy Williams' overall health. What can you tell us about her overall health? We got the Seven of Cups. All right, with the Seven of Cups, I gotta go to my... Okay, so the Seven of Cups talks about uh, confusion, psychological or emotional issues, probably connected to real life circumstances. So whatever health issues, if it's a psychological, um, thing, it's, it's directly connected to, you know, some of the circumstances, uh, some of the issues that she's had to face, some of the issues she's had to deal with. All right. Um, hold on. What, um, what advice do you have for Wendy when it comes to dealing with the the help this help? What is the advice for Wendy, please? Yeah, because this confusion, it, you know, it has. Put this over here. Um, this confusion has has stemmed from relationships that have left you know Wendy isolated, alone. These were painful endings where she's like, everything's cool, everything's fine. But it it was very, um, you know, it was, <sighs> this is lonely, heartbreaking, you know? She's always had to, oh, juggling, competition. She, she, oh, man, we're talking about her husband, her ex-husband, um, where it's like, she, she was like so in love with this person the whole time this person, you know, had her in competition with other people. He was always juggling when, you know, this, this man was probably her happiness and he's happy now because he gets, you know, 
he gets her money even though he's with someone else wow that's fucked up so let's see what is the advice for the seven of cups you know that's that's what the health issues you know this this story over here is what's causing these health issues so it's more like she needs a lot of um i don't want to say a lot she just needs that um the, the, the type of support that will help her um, gain clarity on the situation and, and be able to move past it in a healthy way and not just acting like, you know, that card, this, everything's fine. You know, look how she has, has all those swords in her back and, but she's acting like everything's cool, but she's, you know, she's in pain. Okay, so let's get some advice. What's this, what advice do you have? Sorry, guys. Uh, the Will of Fortune is a great one, but I wasn't ready for it. Okay, so what advice does Spirit have um, when it comes to dealing with the Seven of Cups? What's, what advice does Spirit have for you? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Um, a need to research your condition and make your own informed decisions. That's what it's saying. Because you have some sneaky people uh, around you, you know, almost want to, yeah, I'm just getting that, like, you got, you got, there's people surrounding Will, Wendy that, that want to keep her in this, in this state of illness and confusion, you know, look how he has the bandage on his head over here, you know, this talks about, um, psychological uh wounds so it's almost like they want to keep her in this confusion because they i almost want to want to say they want to take she's not happy with what they're giving her they're like here take this take this and she's like no man i'm like <sighs> and we're, we're talking about wendy see that there she is right there you know this cycle is going to come to an end with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God. There you go. All right. Let's see what this sneaky behavior is. So, okay. So to help you with this confusion, um, with this emotional and psychological, um, you know, uh, wounds that need to be healed, you know, there's a need for you to do research uh, about the type of help that you may need. Okay, but let's look into the Seven of Swords to make to see what's going on with the Seven of Swords. Okay. We got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so so Wendy had some new new beginnings. Okay, it could be in work, it can be in a new project, but these people want to create burdens for her like they want to create burdens financial burdens for her so that way she's like so beat down that she just walks away and she just accepts what they've been trying to do and that's keep her in this state of confusion and uh burdens financial burdens that's what these people are trying to do to her she needs the help she needs the support um, but right now she she might be she might be acting like everything's cool, but it's it's really not. All right, so that's what's going on with Wendy over over there. Um, let's over, <laughs> right there. Let's look into Lori Schiller. What is Lori Schiller up to? We, she got the devil. She's represented by the devil. So let's see what this devil is up to. This, what, why is Lori Schiller represented as the devil? Please. Why is Lori Schiller represented as the devil? She's trying to um, like take away Wendy's stability. Because, you know, you know, I think she's she's a what is she? Um financial consultant for Wells Fargo? Like she she takes people's abundance the ten of pentacles talks about um building empires you know building uh strong foundations financial uh foundations but it's coming in reverse okay 
Let me just look at something real quick. Okay, the pen, Ten of Pentacles talks about foreclosures, um, loneliness, isolations, family conflicts. That's what this talks about. Trying to create the confusion for Wendy with the Seven of Cups. Wow. What do we need to know? Okay. Yeah. What do we need to know? Sorry, a card fell and I wasn't really... Okay. Okay, so this this person um this person creates a lot of conflict. Okay. What's the conflict? She's trying to create a lot of conflict for uh, yeah, for Wendy. So I think I'm almost getting like Wendy wants to walk away from them and they're like, no, no, no. We want you to accept what it is that we give give you. But Wendy's like, no, I don't want that cup. I'm walking away. And they're like, you know, almost like killing any connection with this person. And they don't want that. They don't want that because they don't want people to start looking more carefully at what they've been doing. And the truth, the truth of the situation is going to hurt. Wow. Okay. This, this woman is the devil. This woman likes to create conflict and confusion and instability for Wendy. What else can you tell us about the devil? What are her intentions with Wendy? What are her intentions with Wendy? Oh my gosh. Confusion. Look, oh my cards are... Got all flipped. Confusion. Dry, draining someone financial, financially burdens. That's the sneaky behavior. Even though this person is coming off as is somebody who's very loving. Oh shit! That one came out on top. This person is stealing. This devil's stealing from Wendy. What else can you tell us about the devil, please? What else can you tell us about the devil? What else can you tell us about the devil? She's trying to sneak away. Sneak away without being seen for what they've been doing. What else can you tell us about the devil, spirit? What else can you tell us about this devil? Yeah, somebody's trying to move away from this devil. Or this devil's trying to sneak off. What else can you tell us about this devil? They're trying to get away from the heartache that they created, that they've caused. They're trying to sneak away without being detected. They try to sneak off with somebody's money. <clears throat> I wonder who that was. They walked away with that money. And that's the truth. All they cared about was money. And now they're worried because, you know, the truth is going to come out. Anything else we need to know about this devil? Anything else we need to know about this devil? Yeah, this person, all they care about, they're very ambitious in getting that money. Keeping, keep trying to find a way to keep Wendy stuck and confused. We got the Seven of Cups again. That's what she's doing. All right, guys. Let's look into Bernie Young. Bernie Young, right? He hired an attorney to get, like, guardianship or something like that. They're, I, uh, they were trying to what, what, um, do what they did to Britney Spears, to Wendy Williams, from what I understood. Um, yeah, like, he took, he took her, her credit card. He moved away. Oh, oh my God. And to create burdens for Wendy, 
so they can hold on to her money. He held he had help doing this. There was three people involved in doing this. Was it Wells Fargo? I don't know what to ask. Was it Wells Fargo? Was Wells Fargo in on this? Yes, yes, they were. And judgment's going to be called on them. Yes, they were involved. There they had help doing this. And Wells Fargo was in on it. Anything else we need to know about Bernie Young? Yeah, all they care about is money. All they care about is money. And they don't care if they cause heartache to other people. If they get their money, that's their job. That's what they do. Putting people in, in tough situations. That's their job. To create burdens for people. To take from people, walk away, and leave them with the burdens. That is their job. That's what they need to do to make that money. And they don't give a fuck if they hurt people in the process. They don't give a fuck. That is their job. To make people sad. To, to get that money. So they can go out and have a good time and party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Alright, that's nothing new, right? So yes, Wells Fargo was in on this, and judgment's going to be called on them. Anything else we need to know about Bernie? Did Bernie really steal um, Wendy's card? Let's see. Let's put these back and ask that yes or no question. Did Bernie really steal Wendy Williams' credit card? He got the chariot. The chariot is a yes. He took it and he ran off. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He stole from Wendy. All right. Anything else we need to know about Bernie? Bernie Young, please. Yeah, he's trying to hold on to Wendy uh, so she doesn't walk away. You know, there there is deception about what they did to her, leaving her in this state of lack without she's she's without money. And they did that. And they're just they're being deceptive about this surrounding this they because they want to hold on they want to hold on to her because she wants to move away from them and they don't want that so the the best thing they could do is be deceptive and put her in the state of lack that's what it's saying yeah they don't want her to have this new passionate beginning this you know whatever project she has she's been working on they don't want her to have this yeah and spirits like it's the damn truth that they've been keeping her in this state of confusion and and um emotional and mental turmoil because they are trying to find a way to take her money that's what it's saying that's their job that's what that's what spirits say all right, guys, let's get some final advice for Wendy. All right, let's get some final advice for Wendy and see. And then I think I'll just leave it leave it there. Okay, guys, final advice for Wendy Williams. Be strong. Be strong. There's going to be, um, like, um, some kind of sweet offer, a proposal to help you. Um, it could be from this King of Pentacles. They're gonna, they're, yeah, they might be giving you the support that you need, or this empress could be, you could be this king of pentacles, this, you could be the empress, but either way, someone's giving and receiving uh, help and support. Gender doesn't matter. Um, it could be somebody that has, in a position of power, somebody that has money would be giving um, to this empress. This could be Wendy um, giving her the support. You know, it, it's a very sweet offer. But be strong. Be strong because the help that you um, need is going to come in. That's what Spirit's saying. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave that there. We'll see you guys next time.